This is why I don't put down big deposits when I'm in acquisition mode or actively buying rental properties. My name is Isaiah, I'm a seven figure real estate investor. I invest 100% remotely and I wanna show you how to do it too. So I posted this on my Instagram yesterday and everyone was up in arms on why I circled the 10,000 and why I was so upset about it. So this property was in Timmins, Ontario, which is an incy tinsy bitsy little town up north. Now the purchase price that I was trying to get this bad boy at was like 147. So first of all, they countered something crazy back at what 197 or 195. And to have a $10,000 deposit on a purchase price that small doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yes, I understand the realtor was trying to save their commission, but for me, it doesn't work. I also had a great question with someone who reached out with me on Instagram, like why does it really matter? And like, is anything affected? So let me tell you. In the grand scheme of things, nothing's really affected. But the reason why I don't like putting large deposits down is because I invest remotely. I put a lot of offers when I'm in acquisition mode. So let's say you're looking at one, two, maybe three properties and you have conditions, maybe seven day financing or inspection. If you have to tie up 10,000, 10,000, that's $20,000 tied up. No way you're going to have the money or the funds to actually close on that third property you really want to. I always put the least amount down as a deposit. And if I go firm, I can always increase that with an escalation clause. If you want to learn how to invest 100% remotely, let me know and I'll teach you.